I've been asked to check out this new Android watch that's featured on keysphones.com. Um, it connects to Android phones and also iPhones as well, but there's some functions that won't work on iPhones, I'm told. So I, I don't know too much about it, but I'm just going to go around the menus and see what's in here. Okay, so there looks like there's the standard Android um, menu keys. You have you have the menu button that gives you all the apps or what's usually apps on Androids. You go left. You go to the, you go to the right, and you see other apps. It has a sleep monitor, calculator, pedometer, stopwatch, Bluetooth, phone book, dialer, messages and calls BT Notice, which is the app for Android, BT Music, and Bluetooth Camera. And it's telling you whenever you click on any of those, please install BT Notice. Okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll, I will install that BT Notify app on my Android phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Android store, and I searched BT Notice and this app called Smartwatch pops up first, so I'm gonna get that one. And install. Accept. Accept that. Okay, installing. Installed, let's try it. So I'm gonna open it. The Smartwatch is trying to read SMS. But one thing I haven't done yet though is I need to find the watch through Bluetooth on my phone. So here's the Bluetooth menu, and it's detecting a few things. And I'm gonna choose the smartwatch. So smartwatch right there. And it pairs automatically. You don't have to put a password or anything. Bluetooth pairing request. Pair, there's the pairing code. And it asked you right here on the watch if this is the same code. And on the watch, you say yes. So you just click yes. And they're paired. Pair. So it says, it just said on the watch of Valencia Pro connected, which is my phone. And to restart, reboot. Okay. And another key is also to make sure to install the smartwatch app before you pair the Bluetooth watch to the phone. So here is the SMS message coming in through the phone. Now it looks like here I can reply. Yep, there are all my text messages. So I can go here to rock. Can I reply? I can call the sender, I can delete, I can look at the details of the message. But it doesn't let me reply because there is no keyboard on the watch, of course. Okay, look, here's some more apps, rest, drink, calendar, and alarm, settings, anti-loss, power saver, and ringtone. Let's try the calculator out. Okay, so it has a little calculator. It's three plus three equals six. Yay, I have a calculator on my watch. That's an old trick though, but it's cool. I can make a phone call. Let's try making a phone call. 305. Of course, I'm going to blur out the phone number. Now, how do you call? Is it this button? Yep. Cool. So it's making a call. And the call's going out from the from my wrist. So I'm going to talk through my wrist. Um, smartwatch is trying to read call whenever you get these. Just allow all of them if you want to have full sync with your watch on your phone. Okay, now what do we do? Um, looks like I can go to menu and phone book. It's gonna load my phone book. There are all my contacts. Okay, that's the phone book that it pulls from your phone. Calls. Missed calls. It does show my missed calls. 
my dialed calls and received calls. Beats and music. That works. Holy cow. Oh wow, so... Alright, so... The BT music. You open it, you press play, and it plays the first thing in your playlist. Then it goes to the next one. All the things you downloaded. Cool. So that works. How do you press stop? Stop. Let's go to something else. We have an app called Rest. Okay, I see someone sitting on a laptop. Go to next, you put 3.30. Or you get to choose those times. Or I don't know what that does, but let's move on. Calendar. It just shows a plain calendar. It's not synchronized with your Google Calendar. That I can see. And your settings, let's see what's in here. APK, Swatch Google. Clock, unit setting, volume, language, display, battery, Bluetooth, reset data. We also have ringtones you can choose from here. Ring only, vibrate only, beep once, repeat, all that good stuff. Sleep monitor to watch you sleep. So Overall, my impression of the watch, it is very handy, um, especially if you're on the go. Um, you don't have to reach into your pocket to do things like see the time or to make a call even. If you're in a quiet place, you can talk on your watch since it's on speakerphone. So that'll be really neat to use. And also the ped pedometer and the health apps are really useful. You have a rest app, a drink app. I don't really know what the drink app does. It looks like it makes sure that you get enough to drink at these hours, which it says here, 7.30, 9 o'clock, 11, 12, 50, and so on. Alarm, that's always good to have, and it's fine if it's on your watch. Ringtones, sleep monitor, That's I'm gonna try that tonight to see how it works, but I'm pretty sure I know how it works. So. I'd say I'm asleep for nine hours, I only get like three hours of deep sleep. Okay, that's how it works. Pedometer. Um, I guess I'll wear the watch next time I go for a jog. I can run it in the background, and it'll be cool. So I'll try that, and stopwatch so I can go really fast. Because I like going fast. Well, as far as this though, the dialer I think is one of the coolest things about this watch. Because you can just dial the phone call right on the watch and go ahead and make the call by pressing this button. And that'll conclude this video impression and review of the Android smartwatch featured on keysphones.com. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it was helpful us discovering how this thing works together. Alright, so thank you very much. And I'm gonna go back to this call, call him back. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Cool, I'm talking, I'm talking to you through the smartphone watch. Yeah, so I'm talking into my watch like Star Trek. <laughs>